What if you could send a WhatsApp message and have Notion create a new task with all the properties you mentioned in that message? Well, this is possible and also a lot quicker than trying to create new database entries using your phone. And you can also do this with Telegram, Slack, SMS and email. But for this video, we're just going to focus on WhatsApp. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to hints.so by clicking the first link in the description. And then after signing up, you'll see a pop-up window asking which app you want to connect. Go ahead and select Notion and continue. Next, you want to log into Notion and select the pages you want to give access to. These would be the pages that contains the database that you want to use. Then you want to select your database. I'm just going to use my normal task database. And then when you click on next, you'll be able to choose your messaging service. Go ahead and select WhatsApp, click on continue, and then you'll be presented with a QR code which you need to scan with your phone. To scan the QR code, you need to go to your WhatsApp settings, click on the QR code next to your profile, and then click on the scan code tab at the top. After scanning the QR code, a new chat will open up with hints containing a preloaded message. When you go ahead and send that message, your WhatsApp should now be connected. On WhatsApp, you should have a message showing you how to use the bot with an example image. So let's test this out. I'm going to keep this simple and just write the task name as well as the due date. After sending the WhatsApp, you'll see it processing and when it's finished, it will let you know that the task has been created and also provide the Notion link to that task. Inside of Notion, you'll see the new task and when you click on the task, you'll see a comment showing the exact command you used to create the task. Now let's try something else. Let's try and change the task name and due date. Simply begin your WhatsApp command with the word change and then in English, simply tell the bot what you want to change. Let's run this prompt and check inside of Notion. And as you can see, the task moved from today to Saturday and the name has also changed. The WhatsApp bot will also send you resources of more things you can do, but I think that you can explore on your own. The link to this website can be found in the description below. And while you're down there, make sure to subscribe and to give this video a like. Or if you didn't like this video, press that dislike button twice just to make sure. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.